I'm Amy Sherman. And I'm John Gonzalez. Today we're in Petoskey, Michigan, nestled along the Little Traverse Bay. Surrounded by historical homes and with an amazing downtown full of locally owned businesses, this is a year-round destination for everyone. Let's have a Michigan's Best Day in Petoskey. So, so Clayton, every time I've tried to talk to you, <laughs> you're always busy making donuts. If you're busy, then you've got some good products. So <laughs> we're very lucky that way. Clayton, give us a little history of Johan's. Been here since 1958, and Don and Katie Kilwin built this building, and it was called Kilwin's Bakery. And we've just been doing the same recipes that Don and Katie developed a long time ago. We pride ourselves on using the best ingredients that we can, and uh, that, that's where our quality comes from. You visited Johan's during your search for Michigan's Best Donut, um, and what were your first impressions when you got here? Well, first of all, you, have the, you must like the, the maker. Here's I like the maker. Fantastic guy. Clayton is, he's like my people. Like, he, yeah, he works with his hands. Mm -hmm. He's working on the same equipment that's been here for years. Everyone comes here. The community, whether you're a traveler or, you know, local, mm -hmm. you come to Johan's. Do you have a favorite donut in general? My go-to is a Long John, yeah. Not too sweet. Um, I like how it's got a big but, yeah, punch of vanilla. There, yeah, <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that vanilla flavor really hits you, though. I mean, you can tell these are handmade donuts. That's got a great crumb texture to it. I'm getting custard every single bite. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you have uh, McLean and Eakin right here downtown Petoskey. How long have you guys been open? Well, actually in 92, my mom opened the store. She uh, uh, was a teacher at one point in her life, always a lover of books, and I think it was always her dream. But the store has been here ever since. We haven't dreamt of moving. We like being part of the downtown and, and uh, having that kind of old uh, bookstore feel. 26 years running a bookstore. Now, what is the secret to making your place so popular? Well, uh, we've got great staff that read books and love to recommend books. Well, since you're in Petoskey, Northern Michigan, you actually have a really large Michigan section, not just about Michigan, but Michigan authors. Since the store opened, uh, it was important for us to feature regional titles, regional authors, but also uh, books set in our region, located in our region. We definitely highlight those in a special way. You also um, have a large section devoted to Hemingway. Yes, we do. Hemingway is the only author that gets his own section here in the store. So he's, he's, he's the famous local art author. He holds a lot of weight, a lot of literary weight here. We sell great beach reads and the kind of book that you'll read in you know, one sitting, but you're going to find a book you love. <laughs> like, hit me up, more books. <laughs> Good. Hey, we only close three days a year, so you know, almost any day you'll catch us here and we'll find something for you. I love it. One of the best views in all of Petoskey has got to be Beards Brewing Company. We first came here on our search for Michigan's best brewery a long time ago. These new digs are absolutely incredible and we are so excited that now you can get some great eats as well when you're at Beards. The food here looks great. The thing about Beards, they're doing it right. Hand making everything, mm -hmm. they're hand cutting their fries. They've turned it into one of their most popular dishes. Oh my gosh, yeah. And my favorite dish, poutine. poutine. This is gonna be a super gut bomber. That's gonna go great with any of the beers here at Beards. You really wanna come for the beer. They do great beer. We just love their flavors and what they're doing here. Uh, time to go shopping? I can't wait, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Downtown Petoskey is so vibrant and fun, and, and they have so many different kinds of stores. You think we'll find a Petoskey stone? I hope so. Should we go look? Let's go. So, uh, 
Uh, show us a few of your your favorite stones that you have right now. I mean, you, these are <laughs> you have so many different sizes. And then I grab these two because if you look real close, the clarity has a lot to do with how people would purchase one. Oh yeah, yeah. Now how about these giant ones? Where do you find those at? Do you have to go out into the lake and like dive for them, or? A lot of times you'll have people come in with their waders still on or something. Because so, they've Cause they're got so their, excited, they've got their they... deep water spots. Now, if I was to go down to the beach here in Petoskey, would I be able to find a Petoskey stone myself? Or yes. are they kind of picked over? No, and you get a lot of people that will come in and, and ask, are they going yeah. mean, extinct? Or mm -hmm. I hear you can't find them as, as well anymore. I don't know, you can still find them pretty easily. You mm -hmm. just have to know what you're looking for. It's almost time for dinner, and where we're going holds a pretty special place in this guy's heart. Can you guess who it is? He's a pretty big deal. Especially to American literature and to Petoskey. A must stop when you're in Petoskey is the City Park Grill. This was Ernest Hemingway's hangout. In fact, in the 1920s, he wrote the Nick Adams stories right here at the bar. And if you come and have a drink here, you can even see where he put his cigar out every day when he got done. Bam. You do feel inspired. There's a great vibe here, a great energy. You almost feel Hemingway's presence. I kind of think so. It's such a historical place. Well, they take the Hemingway theme to heart here at the City Park Grill in Petoskey. And in fact, you can try the Hemingway Daiquiri. And this one features actually his special rum, right? Yeah, so it's a Pilar a rum made in uh, Florida. and. It's a great concoction. Uh, it, it's not overly powerful. It's just it's a great it's a great drink. That's smooth sailing. Nice. Whether you're in Key West <laughs> or Petoskey. <laughs> I am so ready for dinner here at the City Park Grill. Gonzo, what do you got? So this burger is it's ground in-house. It has a house-made blue cheese dressing, mushrooms, and onions. That sounds pretty fantastic. Yeah, that'd be great. Amy, what do you have? I have locally sourced whitefish that comes right out of Lake Michigan and the fishermen brings it directly here to the City Park Grill every day, so you know it's fresh. Let's eat. I love this burger. You will as well. It's it's moist, it's done medium, but that blue cheese dressing blends really well with the mushroom and the onion. It's almost a perfect burger. How about your whitefish? I'm moving my whitefish away from you because I'm going to eat ah! it. <laughs> this is exactly what you want in a, in a Michigan fish dish. The Parmesan crust gives it like super saltiness um, without being overwhelming. Whitefish coming from Michigan is, is such a special thing because it is coming right out of our Great Lake. Our cold, clear, fresh water makes for the perfect fillets. Oh my God. Taste of the Great Lakes. I mean, I don't know, it tastes of Michigan, right? <laughs> City Park Grill in Petoskey is a place you definitely want to visit. And remember, pop a drink here and you can too. There's a lot to love at the newly opened back lot here in Petoskey. They've got tons of drinks, right? They do. They have beer, wine, and what, what is that? It's Rosé, and it. it is delicious. This place is friendly for families, even dogs, and they have some great food trucks surrounding it, so you can always get something to eat here at back lot in Petoskey. Cheers. We started off the day with great donuts, in fact, some of Michigan's best at Johan's Pastry Shop. Then we spent some time in the vibrant downtown of Petoskey shopping for gifts and souvenirs. We enjoyed an incredible view at Beards Brewing Company. That pizza is awesome, their poutine is awesome. You definitely want to go to Beards. And then we had dinner at the City Park Grill, which is home to Ernest Hemingway, where he wrote the Nick Adams stories. We had a nightcap at the newly opened back lot, which was super fun. That's how you spend a Michigan's Best Day in Petoskey. More information at MLive.com slash Michigan's Best.